Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another Vogue show. I'm Richard Vogue and this is the Vogue show. It is the 4th of June 2018 and it's 8 o'clock here in the jolly old UK. Welcome to another exciting moment of fun, thrills and spills as we start yet another week, a week in June. Oh, it's so fantastic. It's so lovely to be out now towards heading towards the summer. We've had the spring and everything's been wonderful. We've had the elderflowers. Have you seen the elderflowers all over the place? Everywhere that I look. Every time I cast my eye out of the window, ladies and gentlemen, all I see is the elder flowers, the flowers on the trees, and all I can think of is it's time to collect those elder flowers and make some elderflower wine, or as Richard Suggett does, of course, some elderflower cordial. What would be nicer? What would be nicer? Maybe elderflower gin may be nicer. I don't know. I'm not a great uh, alcoholic beverage drinker, but uh, every now and again, just it's not, I'm not teetotal by any means, ladies and gentlemen, but, but uh, every now and again, it is quite nice to uh, partake in a little bit of something. And I think if you do it a little bit rather than every night, there are people who have to have a glass of wine every night. Are you one of those people that has to have a glass of wine every night? That's a bit strange, really. It's a weird old habit if you've got to have a glass of wine every single night, because where's the fun? Now, I'm not here to criticise. You do as you think fit. But if I... if I, I, So I prefer, personally, you know, once in a blue moon, and then, it's, then there's something special about it. It makes it into a special drink. In the meantime, of course, every night I do have... I tend to have a glass of... Um, uh, what is this? A mug. It's a mug of coffee. Hmm. The reason I do that, of course, is to wake me up ready for the show at 8 o'clock here, British Summer Time. Which is fantabaduze, and it's lovely to be here. So let's see if there's anybody actually watching the show. Start of the week, start of another exciting um, five days of Vogue shows. Graham Whittington is there. Uh, Emily Champion is there. No, she says, don't do wine. Andy Ash, I'll just have another one, please. Pam Malcolm, Linda Kane, is that one of your new sweaters? Actually, this is, uh, I should tell you, this is from one of my new sweaters from Help the Aged, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as Harriet was with me when we were going, I was over at Harriet Land in the weekend and we went to a number of charity shops. So I was looking for some clothes um, and uh, we went in there and helped the aged uh, and the Heart Foundation. And as Harriet said, yeah, you've probably helped the aged. Somebody probably died in that jumper. It's, not, it's a nice thought, isn't it? It's a nice thought that you're wearing clothes that somebody's probably died in. Paul Hines says, shiver me timbers, Richard. It's Richard Vogue. Ahoy there, Paul. Ahoy. Man overboard. And all that sort of nonsense. Uh, Mick Baines has got his thumbs up. Thank you very much, Mick. Mark English, he says, wreck women in moderation is part of a healthy di diet. Wreck women. I think, are you saying red wine? I think he's saying red wine there, but anyway, he's saying red womey, uh, which I'm not quite sure what that is. N Nigel Sadler has joined. Steve Pilford is on various glasses of something. Well said, Mark, says Andy Ash. So there we go. It's good to be here, says Malcolm, which is great. And Levi, who I now call Levy, of course, just for fun. Hello, Levy. Uh, n let's not go overboard. No, 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 we don't want man overboard. Man overboard. Turn the bus around. Uh, love a charity shop, says Emily. I do like a good charity shop. My sister really got me onto the charity shop thing because she was always buying stuff from the charity shop. Uh, I basically can't afford to go and buy uh, brand new clothes uh, because, <laughs> you know, uh, impecunious. That's the word that you might say it. Uh, mainly because I don't have a proper job. <laughs> that's probably what it is in truth. But anyway, never mind all that. We've got so much wonderful content to create. That's what we've got to get on with. Purely medicinal, of course, says Andy Ash. I completely understand. I mean, I can understand if you've been working for the big corporations... You probably need to escape and relax with a bit of de-stressing. I suppose I'm in a slightly different position, not working for the large corporations, working for myself and with lovely people like the lovely Julia, you know, to keep the stress levels down. Um, 
apart from first thing in the morning when you're trying to get out the door and she's uh, not quite ready. But let's not go there. Uh, Claire Leach says, never drink on a school day. That's well, I don't go to school, so that's OK. Nigel Sadler says, hello. Steve Pilford says, what about on an inset day? Can you drink on an inset day? Probably can. Um, so there we go. Anyway, lovely to see you all. You've all very welcome. Let's um, let's give you a big fanfare. This fanfare comes care of uh, viewer Scott Luce, who's a very nice bloke, and he sent this to me. He said, you said the other day, when somebody arrives, you want to have a fanfare. So he's given me a lovely fanfare. Let's have a listen. How oh, nice. Thank you very much, Scott. We've got that. Don't forget, if you want to send an email... Send an email. To Richard at Vobes.com. So this is how this show rocks. Um, I do want to get, I want to, by the way, I've been thinking about this, improving the show in many, many different ways. And we'll talk about that. Sorry, my, 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 my eye, my wonky eye is a little bit, um, it gets a little bit puggy. The old pug in my eye sometimes builds up, which makes it close. So just for a second, I just need to uh, take the old glasses off. I look funny with the glasses off, don't I? But anyway, never mind all that. Um, who else have we got? Linda Kane says, uh, love a glass of uh, Rioja, uh, which I imagine is a wine. Uh, Levy says, um, don't call me Levy, call me Levi. Oh, yes, of course he does. Uh, Thirsty, drink tea. I do like tea as well. Tea is a very good drink, actually. Um, top fanfare, says Mark Selwood. Thank you very much, uh, Mark Selwood. Nigel Cooper has arrived. <laughs> Which is good to see. Kevin Hall, really uh, not on a school night. I had better pour my large glass away. Uh, poor old Kevin. Anyway, listen, Kevin is going to be one of the features of today's uh, videos uh, or today's show because we have some roving reporting from Kevin Hall. Thank you very much, Kevin, for sending all the files in. I hope I've got them in the right order and we'll be watching those very shortly. Glenn Johnson has arrived. Stuart Hill has also arrived. Nikki Jess has arrived. On a serious note, what happened to the eye? Oh, the eye. <laughs> oh, the eye. Yes, on a serious note... I will do a thing about the eye because uh, a lot of people are interested. How did the Vobesy one-eyed Kenobi lose that one eye? Hmm? Well, I'll do. I will do that on another show, actually. But um, we've got more important matters today. For I want to show you something, ladies and gentlemen. I want to show you something. Now, how can I do this? Uh, as you know, I had a problem with my gimbal. I had a problem with my gimbal, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this uh, because uh, this is all thrown together at the last minute today. Like so many of these shows, thrown together at the very last minute, which is a shame, but there we go. Fanfare from Noggin the Nog, says Paul Hind. It does sound a bit like that, doesn't it? <laughs> Certainly has that sort of... Um, homemade feel about it which is great uh, Jennifer Stewart is here Nigel Cooper says ha ha yahoo which is nice to know um, right so yeah my gimbal now you may remember that some while ago um, uh, I bought a gimbal about a year ago actually and it was the smooth three and it just so happens I've still got the box which is rather mean uh, rather clever look at that smooth three there it is well ladies and gentlemen it's been absolutely brilliant I loved it to bits I was very impressed with it a pair of scissors here um, and so I lashed out and I purchased I purchased another one ladies and gentlemen as you may have heard and actually it was supposed to come on Tuesday but actually it has arrived it arrived yesterday and here it is uh, hang on it's just a uh, I've got a separate camera set up. It's a bit overexposed, actually, that camera. I'm not quite sure why that had happened like that. Um, let me just see if I can adjust that picture whilst we're uh, we're doing this. Because I thought it would be fun to do an unboxing, ladies and gentlemen. How about that? An unboxing on the show. Let's just turn the gain down a bit. Is that it? Exposure down? Maybe something like that. There we go. Try that. Save. OK. Save, 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 save. There we are. There we go. I thought I would do a bit of an unboxing on the show so that you could see exactly what you get for your money. Should you be tempted, as many people have been, to purchase one of these um, smooth... Um, this is... Uh, I can't... I don't know how you pronounce this. Uh, this is the same make here. It's... I had problems the first time. How would you pronounce... How would you pronounce that up there? It's Chinese, so Z-H-I-Y-U-N. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm not even going to try, because you know what my pronunciations are like? Rubbish. Rubbish. It's all rubbish, Sid. I don't like it, Sid. It's horrible, Sid. Don't, don't do it, sir. 
Maybe uh, maybe somebody out there could tell me phonetically what it was. Emily Champion saying, Oh, it's exciting. Oh, Richard, Richard, it's so exciting. She's saying, Mark Selwood says, Do you put your GoPro in that? Yes, I do. And I do it in a very strange way. Uh, so here we go. My daughter, Cara, is excited about the grand gimbal opening. Oh, Cara, 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 Cara. Cara, are you a practising Cara? Are you a Cara practiser? Oh, that's a bad joke. Never mind. Worth the fun. My Facebook has just crashed. Oh, no. What has it crashed into, Kevin Hall? What has it crashed into? Please tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell Uncle Vobie. Um, Nikki speaks Chinese, so she might well know. Oh, Nikki. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Uh, how do you pronounce? Here we go. I don't know how you... Uh, this is the spelling. I'll do it one more time for you. Here we are. Look. Uh, there it is. It's uh, This is the old one, but it's got the same company. It's uh, Z-H-I-Y-U-N. Zion, is it? Something like that. Zuh. Zuh. What sound does Zuh make? Zuhayun. 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 Maybe. I'm going to call it Zuhayun for now. I mean, who knows? Nicky, if you can put it out phonetically, that would be good. Uh, I'm just looking. Is it Gimbal or Gimbal? Andy Ash. It's Gimbal. B-A-L. Gimbal. Um, I think that's what it should be. Gimbal. Uh, so I'm just looking to see if uh, unboxing. Very YouTube. Yes, well, if you're watching on YouTube, you'll feel at home with this because it is a bit of that. But before we get to the start of the unboxing, ladies and gentlemen, before we get to any of that, we're going to kick off with uh, the lovely Kevin Hall, whose Facebook has crashed. But I hope he's um, he's out doing some vobing reporting. He sent this in. Oh, I've got a photograph I need to uh, also find as well. <laughs> he just sent me that, and um, I, I need to find that and get that here. Hang on a minute. Let me just see if I can find that. It's all go. Here we go. Photograph. Let's have a look. I've sent you this. I want this photograph, so he's going to send it to me. Save. Sorry, I should have done this beforehand. Uh, there's lots of interesting things in the show today. Open that folder. I've opened that folder. That is where the photograph is. Where the hell shall I put the photograph? I don't know. Let's copy that. See, this is this is sometimes when live goes really wrong. Right, I can cut it from there. Yeah. Put it into Monday's folder. Put it in there. Post, paste, 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 paste it in there. There it is. You can't see what I'm doing. I'm so I do apologise for that, ladies and gentlemen. I should have put some music on or something. Should have gone to the test card, shouldn't we? Or test goes, whichever is the greater. Right. So then I take. Uh, I need to get that photo. Where is it? There's Monday's show. Where's it going to go? Where's it going to go? Where's it going to go? Well, let's open another little thing. We will call it Scene Two. And sorry. Uh, <laughs> Doing this as fast as I can to try and make sure I get it right. Oh, dear. Right, OK. Um, I think I can do that whilst we're showing the video. So let's see where Kevin Hall has been and what he's up to. Here he is. Where are you, Kevin? Morning, Richard. Morning, Ball Explorer Group. This is Kevin and Cynthia. We're off on another walk, and this is where we are today. The no Thursley National Nature Reserve. So we're going to have a nice walk through here. It's supposed to be a really, really nice walk. Um, and we'll see what we can find. So we will be reporting back in a little bit later on. Bye for now. Ha ha! Took me by surprise there, Kevin. Thank you very much for that. We'll find out more about your walk. Thanks for doing it. I love it when you do them in these chunks for the show. If anybody else wants to do them like this, it's quite good. You can be out filming and it's very easy with your phone. I haven't got my phone in front of me, just making sure that the sound is up. And you can film those in bits, you see, just like Kevin does. You can say, hello, I'm here, blah, blah, blah. And I'll see you in a minute. And then in the show, I can put them in and it's quite nice to go back and see how he's doing. So we'll go back and see how Kevin is doing very shortly. We're going to get on to the unboxing in a minute. Uh, did I show you it? Yes, I did. If you've just tuned in, there we are. We're going to unbox the new Smooth 4. This is the updated version of the one that I had before, which uh, was the Smooth 3. And as you can see from this picture... There does seem to be, uh, it seems to be the upside down, there seems to be a slight difference in the um, in the stick bit, the handle bit that you hold. I'm quite interested. Now, I must tell you, ladies and gentlemen, oh, it's fallen over. I must tell you, I bought this in a rush. I was in a field 
um, with lovely Colin Brown. And we were filming with a drone. We'll come on to that a bit later on in the show. And the gimbal broke and it didn't work. And I was panicking because I've got walks and stuff all lined up, ready to do. And uh, I was panicking and I just got onto uh, the old Amazon app and I just went to buy the same thing again. But unfortunately, they didn't make it. And they said, no, you can't have that one. No, no, no. The next one you can have is the, is the Smooth 4. So I thought, all right. And do you know what? It was £70 cheaper. So I'm hoping that it's as good, if not slightly better, but it's £70 cheaper than I the original one. The original one was about £200 when I first bought it last June, about this time. And this one apparently is uh, was about £120 five something like that it was something like that or 130 or so i can't remember exactly so that's what it is and we're going to be opening that any second any second just get yourself all very excited if you wouldn't mind i'm just closing down a few of these um windows and just making sure we're actually recording hang on uh so there we go uh what are we going i'm tempted to buy one says mark gardner the, the well i have to say they are very very good and i will be running a workshop i'm running a workshop if anyone's interested on the 7th of july 2018 the 7th of july be running a video workshop how to make better videos you accompany me you accompany me we spend the day we go around somewhere like a village in a little group a little huddle and i will tell you how i would make a video and the reasons why i turn the camera where i do and how i cut it and what motivates me and how the story comes together you get to question me about why i'm doing things the way i do them you also get to question me about other things related to filmmaking any questions you can it's a sort of a master class with with the vobi one-eyed kenobi 7th of july i'll put up some links nearer the time um I'd probably want about six, five or six people. And I'm just going to ask for £10. That's all, £10. So I was going to do it completely free. £10, we're going to go to a pub and have a pub meal. Um, the £10 is really just to put petrol in the car and, um, you know, a little bit of contribution towards the, the show and stuff. Not really asking for very much, but because you'll be picking my brains and then I will pick your brains at the end of it and say, what did you think? Did you what would you like me to have done? How can I improve? Where can we make it better? And then I will offer this um, as a, a, a much more higher premium thing for something like £40 um to the great unwashed you see so get in first is the answer 7th of july get in first um and then uh, we'll talk about the editing and all the rest of it i may do some other workshops based on other bits and pieces and other things later on it depends how this goes so if you want to do it you need to email me and we'll start um, a list i need to find a way to have a, a Maybe it's an event, is it? Do I need to do an event on Facebook? One of them event things so that people can... I'll do it on the Bald Explorer page, perhaps. And then, um, anyway, as soon as I know how I'm going to organise it so people can say, oh, you just emailed me in or, or something. Anyway, we'll make a list. That's the best way. Count me in, says Richard Suggett. Yes, I know you're dying to do it, so that'd be absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Richard. It'd be lovely to see you. I won't be able to make it being down there, unfortunately. I appreciate that, Mark Selwood. I appreciate that. Um, however, um, if there's some way that I can video bits of it and then, you know, send that on or something, um, I'll try and work out what what we can do. But I will come down anyway. I'm going to come down to Cornwall and see you, Mark. Uh, you've been a great contributor to the uh, show. I want to come down. I want to be able to shake your hands. I mean, if I could meet everybody, I would. I really would. It would be fun. Uh, it'd be great fun to do that. So I, I desperately want to come down to Cornwall and, and meet you and, and all the rest of it. So that would be nice. I'm double booked for that date, says uh, Emily Champion. Well, you're obviously a very popular woman. So um, don't panic. I shall do more. But uh, we'll see how we go. See, unfortunately, I'm not able to make it to the workshop, says Mac. So no one's coming then. It's just been me and Richard. So that's all right. We'll go down the pub and just get sloshed and I'll go. Oh, it's just... I'll tell you what I do with my filming. Well, I turn the camera on, Sue, and then I walk along a bit. I say, hello, I'm a bald explorer. <laughs> and when I say that, people tune in. It's lovely. It's just such so cheers, anyway. Mm. Oh, that's nice coffee. Sobers you up like nobody's business. That sobers you right up. <laughs> Marvellous. Right, let's get on to some unboxing, shall we? Let's get on to some of that. So here we are. Have a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. I have not opened this. It still has the cellophane on it. So 
the first thing I need to do, I did do a video about unboxing the uh, the Smooth 3 at some point. Now I'm going to try and do this the same way as I did before. Uh, I'm just going to take the cellophane off by using the skizzers here. It's all very exciting. I haven't seen what this is like. I have a no idea. So I just thought this would be quite fun to see. It comes in a very nice box as it did before. Just chuck that on the floor. Um, there's one of these seals on the back here, you know, take this seal off, void if destroyed or whatever it is. So we'll take that off here if I can without slicing my hands off. There's another little bit of tape this side. Here we go. Ouch, I've just pierced myself with the skizzers. So now I'm going to take out this. The other one came with a very nice case. So I'm curious to know if, uh, hang on a minute, ladies and gentlemen, hold on a minute. This is a bit tricky when I'm doing both camera work. I'm just curious to know if this one has a, a nice case, a carry case, and whether they've improved it. Oh, here we go. Oh, is this it? This is some sort of plastic um, polystyrene case, a sort of polystyrene case. Here, let's... Uh, Let's put that down. Where's the camera to? Hang on. Here we go. Did we know how to pronounce this yet? Did we get a a z a, a, a zahium or what is? It? Did anyone get that? Um, no. Anyway, I don't think uh, anyway we've got that. Okay, so not to worry. So let's open this up. However, we open this. Up. I hope this isn't the carry case. Oh, it is. That's not so good. That'll fall to bits. I don't like that at all. But what we seem to see here is like out of a James Bond film. Yeah, this is not as good. This is this is polystyrene. And that's going to fall to bits before... Blimey, the thing's a lot bigger. But you get more equipment. I'll just hold that up to the light. Just trying to find where the camera is. There we go. Let me just see if I can turn this camera around a bit. So, so this is what we get. We get a little tripod, which might be handy. Little tripod. That goes like that. So we can set the thing on a tripod. That looks quite nice. Uh, we get a lead, usual sort of thing, a little lead. And then, blimey, this is quite big. I should have brought my other one in to compare it. Maybe I will when um, Kevin's doing the next video. So let's get rid of that. Don't, I don't like the box. The box is a bit horrible. This is all a bit... I don't like this either. It's all a bit cheapy. Hang on, I'm going to bring back the other camera so we can see it in a bit better detail. Hold on. So, it's, it's, it's bigger. It's got more controls on it here. I don't know if you can see that. It's got some more control. I I, now, I have absolutely no idea what these controls are doing. It has a screw at the bottom, quarter-inch screw to go on the uh, on the uh, tripod, but also I can bolt on a... It's a lot heavier, for one thing. I'm going to have to go and get the other one to compare it with so that you can see how that works. I'm not quite... I was hoping... I don't know if... I assume there's a battery in there. Oh, there we go. So, anyway, it's quite it's quite big. I am, but you know, it may be it may be much better. I'm judging it based on the other one. Of course, it's got a nicer it's got um it's got a nicer name thing on it. If if you know if you're into, I can't get that in front of the camera close enough. But the badge name there doesn't quite catch the light very well. Um, it's. I hope it'll last a year. That's what I. That's what I'm hoping. So uh, I have a GoPro. Where did I put my GoPro? Now it's designed, as you saw, ladies and gentlemen. I'll answer your questions in a second. As you saw. Ooh. So the Smooth Three, as you can see there in that picture, it's designed for a phone. But you can adapt it to put the GoPro on, which is what I did with the other one. This one is the same, designed for a phone. And it says, 
full it's got pull focus and zoom capability phone go mode born for mobile filmmakers is what it says don't believe all that rubbish um anyway so let's let me see what you're saying if you're saying anything of interest careful with those scissors oh i'm Use your old case, oh baldy nog. You know the, it won't go in the in the in the old case. I'm afraid because the old case was uh, perfectly. So Richard says it looks quite chunky. Yeah, it's it's uh, almost twice the size of yours, Richard. Maggie Walter says your arm is going to be aching with that lot. Good exercise though. Yeah, thanks. Shiny badge name looks professional. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Do you did you keep the receipt? I got it from Amazon, so I can take it back. I wonder whether it'll be as quiet as the first one. Lots of interesting questions. So. What I'm going to do, I don't know how long Kevin gave me on the video that you gave me. Looking on your YouTube, it's pronounced Dewin. Dewin. Oh. Pronounced Dewin. Thank you, Nigel. That's uh, it's pronounced Dewin. I wonder what time it'll arrive and when it's Dewin. OK. In a moment, we'll get the GoPro and stick it on, see if it's got any battery life in there. I don't feel there's any battery in there. It feels too light, but maybe... There is a battery in there. Who knows? We'll have a go in a second, OK? I may get one, but first use a steady hand is the best when filming. So I'm going to leap out the door and try and get hold of my other one and we'll do some further tests. Before we do that, let's go over to Kevin and have part two of Kevin's video. Let's just get my... I don't want to... I don't want the blacks. If it goes black, it's because I'm just out trying to get the other thing because i don't know how long kevin's given me but i'll be back in a second so here we are kevin how are you doing and um how's your walk going hi richard and everybody in the board explorer, explorer group so i got a bit tongue-tied there we are as i said earlier out in hankley common we spoke to a soldier earlier on and he was telling us about had we been to see the atlantic wall which was mentioned I believe in the group or on the live show a little while ago. Well, this is the Atlantic Wall. And it was built by the Canadian soldiers as an exact replica of what the Germans have built to keep us out of Europe, I believe. But just down here, there is a plaque which I will try and get in close to and hopefully you might be able to read it getting a bit too close but the construction is amazing the reinforcing on the in a concrete is incredible. But it's probably 10 or 11 feet high. But over the back, you can probably just make out Cynthia. There is another wall which runs along. As I'm going around that way, you can probably see some of it. But the structure itself is is quite long. I'm just going to walk whoop, or stumble <clears throat> back down through here and try and show you the length of it. It's that's the end. They're probably what 30, 40 yards away, and then you come all the way round. and it disappears up there you can see breaches in the wall just there and I don't know if that's where they actually did, did some explosions when they were practicing or not I don't know but quite an amazing thing we've since I said earlier we've seen some soldiers out on maneuvers and one incredible thing happened just a little while ago we'd spoken to some other walkers at the top of the hill behind where Cynthia is and had a chat with them for about five or ten minutes um, the gentleman says on about how long they'd known each other and we said we'd, we'd known each other for over 50 years 
And as we walked away, one of the gentlemen called out to Cynthia, Cynthia, did you live in Rickmansworth? And the lady that was in the group was actually at primary school with Cynthia in Rickmansworth. So they hadn't, each, <coughs> hadn't seen each other for 53 years. What an amazing coincidence that was. But there we go. Onwards and upwards, as they say, we'll carry on our walk. We'll have some lunch, I think, now. But we'll catch you later. Bye-bye for now. Brilliant stuff. Thank you so much, Kevin. We'll be back for the last part of that video fairly soon, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, plenty of time for me to rush next door and show you the comparison. So we just saw this is the one I've just purchased and um, it all looks very it all looks very nice. A uh, bit bulky. Now, I want to show you in comparison to the other one, uh, if the uh, the lighting seems a bit not so good here but so here's the case let's just put the other case this is that case which came with it which is just a polystyrene case which is a bit crap probably need to cover that in um gaffer tape to make that last okay and then this is the other one which i shall open up here comes in a lovely little case very nice little case very easy unzip it had this for a year and open up Here's the gimbal. That's the gimbal I was using. And here is the comparison to the other gimbal. And you can see that the other one is, uh, okay, admittedly they're not set up, but when that's, when that's up, that will be up there. When that's up, it will be up like that. Very easy and lightweight. That's, it is, marginally heavier but not hugely heavier actually now i'm comparing them this is a very slim down version so i'm expecting i'm expecting great things what i would normally do is put uh, my gopro you can put your phone in there but um i put my gopro in there and um i just have to you'll see what i do in a minute anyway so that's that one. Oh, it's all very exciting isn't it but it goes back in this lovely box, which is quite easy to carry about. And it just zips up like that. Easy. And you can have a strap on it. There's a, there's a, it came with a strap. I took the strap off because it was a bit of a nuisance. But there's two little loopholes to put your strap on and you can strap it over your neck. So that's all very good. That's lovely. So what I normally have here is my uh, GoPro in this little pot. like that now um paul watts very kindly sent me a special plate which i occasionally use uh, i don't use it all the time paul if you're watching um it's a special plate that houses the uh, the gopro in the reason i don't use it all the time is it's a bit cumbersome to set it up because it's got these thumb screws that you have to put on there but it does mean you can see the back of the gopro where the viewfinder is so you can turn that on and you can get the picture here and you can film you see tiny little camera uh, so mostly I still use this little gadget which is actually a piece of cardboard covered in gaffer tape yeah cardboard um, what I would do I'll try now I have no idea as yet but what I would do is I would mount this now I don't know if you can see this uh, hang on a minute there's a there's a facility here I can zoom in on that camera uh, so I would mount this like this, and it doesn't quite fit. So I use this little gadget, which has just fallen on my keyboard, and I, I slot it in here. Oh, great. Do this live. Hang on a minute. No, you don't want to see too much of me. Do this live, and it falls on the floor. Just have a look at the... Uh, just have a look at that whilst I go looking. Where did the blooming thing go? Fallen on the floor and I can't see it. Where's it gone? Hang on a minute, ladies and gentlemen. I've dropped my special gadget. And it's gone on the floor. Oh, so, so it's just there. I found it. I've got it. It's all right. I've got it. It's because I'm doing this live, of course. It's because you're live, love. It's because you're live. Live and direct. So, let's see. Uh, let's try that again. I won't zoom in. You could see the sort of principle that I was doing. 
So now I'm going to get my hands all fumbly fumbly around this. So this little thing usually clips in. On the other one, it would clip in there. That holds that holds the GoPro in, as you can see. Sorry, I can't um, see your questions at the moment. Hang on, let me just move that round. Uh, oh goodness, it's a whopper. Never mind working with animals and Richard Vobes. I wouldn't drop it on the floor. No, looks a dog dodgy package. The next thing you've got to do, thank you for that, um, is you've got to balance it up. Now I wonder how this one works. You've got to, you've got to, you balance it so that it sits like that naturally. But at the moment, it's not quite balanced. So, I imagine it's no. Is it that one? No. Hmm. <laughs> I hope this is going to be all right. I'm just. Uh... It can go that way. It can't go any closer in. It's not as use. It's not as versatile as my other one. I may have to send it back if it doesn't work. I want to send that that way. Can I send it? Hang on a minute. This is all new, so I don't quite know what I'm doing. What if I put the GoPro? That's still too heavy. So it might be that I can use the the other gadget, the plate that. Um, I'm just trying this out. Okay, that's it's not quite there, but it's as near enough there as 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 I dare go. You see, that should be level. Right now. It's quiet, and it's on. Don't know if you can see that. It's just, I mean, it does the same as the other one. That's all good. It's got dial at the front. I don't know what that does. But in theory... <laughs> Sorry, I'm not talking now because I'm playing. One, two, three. One of these buttons makes it turn round. I don't know which one. No. No. I've got to read the instructions, clearly. But anyway, so it does the first thing quite nicely. Um, and so there it is. Presumably, oh, and it tells you. Oh, it's quite nice here. Look, look, here's a thing. You, I don't know if you can see. Oh, there we go. The blue. It tells you the battery is fully charged here. That's quite interesting. There must be a P, F and L. What does L do? I don't know. I need to read the battery. Obviously, I th I think a lot of these controls are going to work with a, um, a Wi-Fi connection to the phone uh, that can do this still photos and it does all these things. So presumably it's a lot to do with connecting to your phone through an app. Well, I'm not using a phone at all, so all of this is absolutely uh, irrelevant to me. Um, that's fine. I just need it to do the selfie menu. So that no, you see, I don't know. Anyway, switch it off. It droops down like that, and away you go. So. There we go. An unboxing. Can't give you my verdict because it's 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 compared to my other one, which was easy. Um, my and my other one. I'll just show you what the other one was like. It's keeping level. It is keeping level. I mean, once you've got the balance problem out of the way, I'm sure it's fine. Once I've worked out how to, I just want to adapt it for the GoPro. I know there are GoPro gimbals. It's just this one. This Jew Jewin whatever it was, um, was so good and so reliable. And I loved the, the, the Smooth 3. And I know I'd adapt it for the GoPro. It was so good that um, I was just keen to carry on with the make that, you you know, I felt c comfortable with. The other one I can, it, I, you know, I do this now in my sleep, this one. Uh, it is, I suppose it's, you know, compared to the other one, it's perhaps more primitive. You level it up. There's plenty of space to you to level it up, uh, he says, trying to 
do it quickly on the show. There we go. Do that. This one broke, but it's now working. That's the irony. I say that. It better do it now. And there it is. Now, to me, it's 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 still better. It's much more smoother. And what I was trying to do was this. Because when I'm doing my walks, I go between this mode, which is the point of view mode as you're walking along, and then this mode, where I'm pointing it at me and talking into it and going, oh yeah, that's interesting, that's interesting, walk, walk, walk. Oh, look at that interesting thing. Three clicks and it turns around. I don't have to worry about it. I love it. I absolutely love it. If I could have got another one of these, I would have done. I would have settled for that. I don't need all those extra flashy stuff. And then to turn it off, it's it does that. But, um, you know, the trouble is they always upgrade. They make things better. And I don't know that they've made that any better for me. But we will see. Anyway, that's the, uh, that's the unboxing. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, we're going to go to Kevin in a minute and find out what he does. Before that, let's see. Steve Pilford says, given the quality of the phone cameras now, being able to use the Bluetooth controls may make user phone a viable option. I need to buy a new phone, that's the thing. Yes, uh, uh, some of the quality of the phones, and I dare say it will come in useful for many things. If it's quiet enough uh, that it doesn't pick up the motors, that will be one thing. I notice the motors are bigger, so maybe that's what it is. Um, no one likes a droop in one's gimbal. No. Send the smooth four back, says Emily Champion. Well, I'm not going to send it back quite yet. I'm going to give it a good road test before I send it back. I will try it out with my phone just to see um, because that's what it's designed for. And then I will make sure I can do what I want to do with it with my GoPro. If it doesn't do it, but I needed to buy something urgently because I had these other things lined up and I didn't want to not have a gimbal because that's my style. That's my trademark now. And the other one I thought had died and it was having intermittent problems. So either way, I do need to have a spare for when the the old one does die or at least have the old one as the spare. So who knows? Who knows how I'm going to do it? Jennifer Stewart says, what unboxing? Where were you? Where did you go? Did you miss it? Goodness gracious. Um, I thought you were there. You were there a few minutes ago. Oh, Jennifer Stewart says I'm dead. I don't know what she means. Anyway. So now, ladies and gentlemen, before we uh, before we get to Kevin, and it'll be lovely to look forward to Kevin. Um, here is an interesting picture of yours truly. Here he is hugging a tree, ladies and gentlemen. Earlier today, I was out with the lovely Julia, the TLC, not the TLC, with um, not TLC. What am I talking about? T TLJ, lovely TLJ, lovely the lovely Julia. This doesn't work, does it? Um, T I was with anyway. We were out. Um, and we were going to go we're going tomorrow. We're going to video uh, another tree We were doing a bit of a recce and um, doing some research today So we uh, we came up with this idea that we want to try and get as many people because trees are quite one of the board explorer things We want to get as many people to hug a tree as is possible because we want people to recognize that trees are a big important thing in our lives and of course they are so you'll go to the Bald Explorer group page on Facebook. That's baldexplorer.com. Uh, no, it's not. It's Facebook forward slash Bald Explorer group or however you get to the group uh, on the just put Bald Explorer group into Facebook. You'll find it. Become a member if you're not a member. By the way, we've got 717 members, which is fantastic. Thank you very much. We want to try and get 800 by the end of the month. That's our uh, target this month. 800 members. It would be great. And we want to see how many people would take part in our little test. So when you're out and about in the next few days, find a tree, take yourself around the tree, hug the tree, give yourself a selfie, which would be nice if you can, or get a friend to photograph the tree, just as I've done here. Um, I've got uh, TLJ to do that. And um, then we're posted up on the thread. You'll find the thread because every time somebody posts it up on the thread, it will bounce up nearer to the top. So you won't have to go looking for it. We've got a few in there already doing that, which is fantastic. But we want to see if we can get as many people as possible hugging trees. So give that a whirl, which would be absolutely fantastic. Marvellous. All right. 
Let's find out what Kevin is up to in the last of the segments that he sent us. Kevin, how is your walk and the Atlantic Wall going? Hi, Richard. We're now at the end of our walk, and this is take four. <laughs> I keep getting this wrong, but this is the grave of the unknown sailor who was murdered at the gibbet at Hindhead by three villains. And the rumour has it is that the three villains were hung at the gibbet and their bodies left there to rot. So this is a, if you remember, Cynthia posted some photographs at the gibbet um, with a little bit of information, I believe. But this is the, the grave of the sailor. So we're at the end of our little bit of a walk. So we are going to now wander around to the, to the church. Julie will be very happy to see that there are yew trees in this church or churchyard. And up there we've got the bell tower which is clad in wooden shingle and this is a obviously a stone built church and just behind us there are two graves war graves one from a chap in from Kent and another one from and he was in the West Sussex regiment and another chap was from the Knotts and Derby regiment and they were both 1917 I believe so I'm just wandering up now towards the front of the church and then that will be the end of our bit of vobing reporting hopefully on this occasion I've managed to keep my finger out of the lens which I didn't just now hence the reason why I'm having to redo this video but here we are at the front of the church I'm going to pan up and pan back down and just swing over here so that Julia can see the ewes and now they're being kept lovely and trimmed. So that's the end of our walk for today around Thursley and Ham Hankley Common. Hankley Common. Hankley Common. So that's it from Cynthia and I. So bye bye for now. Bye bye. Well, there you are. Thank you very much, Kevin. That was absolutely brilliant. Did you notice the four yew trees at the end there? All lined up, look brilliant. Now, Kevin's just said, don't forget the photo. Don't forget the photo. Of course, in the second video, you'll remember that uh, Kevin was talking about this uh, incredible meeting that he had uh, with two old primary school girls meeting after 53 years in the middle of Hack Hankley Common. Well, he said... Could you show the photo afterwards? And yes, I will show the photo. I've just, uh, I nearly forgot to put it on earlier. That's what I was faffing about with. But here it is. There we go. We've got Cynthia on one side and we've got the other lady on the other side on, on this incredible meeting. So there we go. Two primary schools, uh, kids meeting up after 53 years. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Well done, Kevin. If anybody's got a, a fascinating story like that that they would like to share then do get in touch. We'd be only too pleased to know about it. And, of course, you can send an email. Send an email to richard at vobes.com. Super duper. So we want your tree hugging. We want anybody doing the, the tree hugging pictures coming in. There we are. If you've got some unusual and interesting stories like Kevin, then that would be absolutely brilliant. Do send those in as well. Um, what else have we got here? Oh, we're going to go to the group in a second. We've done the un unboxing. If you've got some interesting stories about your gimbal or your equipment or you want to share how you make your videos, then do send, uh, maybe make a video about it or send a picture or send an email and I'll read it out. Be interested to find out how you go about making your videos and what equipment that you use and how you find it. Or if you've got any questions about how to improve your videos or, you know, ask for a tip, you could ask for a tip from the Vobi one-eyed Kenobi and that would be absolutely fantastic which would be marvellous as you know at the end of this month ladies and gentlemen I'm going to be going to the Forest of Dean and this is the place I'm staying at I'm staying there for three nights uh, in, the, in the middle of the forest of Dean, this isn't actually in the middle of a forest, but it's in the fo forest doesn't have to be a f wooded area. 
uh, in this gypsy caravan alone, ladies and gentlemen. And um, I shall be reporting from there, going on some various walks. I'm hoping to go to Tintern Abbey, amongst a, a number of other places, uh, looking for the legends and the myths. And of course, if you want to help out and you want to help the old Vobi one-eyed Kenobi, you can, of course, become a patron of the Vobes and get some of the behind-the-scenes footage when I'm out there trying to rustle up a meal and talking about my mornings or if I'm recording the Naked Englishman podcast. You can become a supporter of the Vobes on, on this exciting thing, the Bald Explorer. Uh, dot com forward slash support if you're not already a patron of the Vogue. There's something to think about. I'll tell you more details as we get closer to the time and I get my itinerary and the things about the Forest of Dean that I found out and all the rest of it. But my diary, ladies and gentlemen, is very busy at the moment. The lovely Julia came over and we were doing a bit of... We did a bit of wrecking, as I said earlier, and we had a meeting and we were, she was copying out my diary so she knew where I was going to be so she could field questions should they come in. Should I not be able to get to them because I should be out and about? Uh, rather a lot. This week, for example, I'm going to be patron of reading at a school in West London. Um, I'm doing. A, I'm a patron uh, to a school, amazingly as it may seem, and I'm there to sort of run some writing workshops on Thursday, and then on Friday, as far as I know, I'm running a. Uh, they're having a tech fest which sounds like fun, and I'm doing a thing about vlogging, how to make videos. So I may take my gimbal along and show them how it works if I've fathomed it out and, sh and show them how I make my walks. These are primary, stu primary, school, tu primary school students, pupils even. Uh, so that's quite fun. Um, and then at the weekend I'm out, and then next week I've got another busy schedule. So it's all go, 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 but we're making lots of interesting videos. <laughs> Over the weekend with Harriet, I went to Shrewsbury Prison and got um, two videos made. One's edited up and ready to go. Might go out the end of this week. Um, and then there was another one in the Georgian prison also. There was a Victorian prison and a Georgian prison, or the remains of, and we go and have a look at that. And also climbed up Care Caradoc. You may have seen some of the video, some of the photos that I've put up in the Bald Explorer group. If you haven't, go and check them out, which would be absolutely fantastic. Um, so there we go. So don't forget you can become a patron of Vobes, baldexplorer.com forward slash patron, which would be absolutely fantastic. Let's go into the group then and see uh, what you have been posting. First of all, uh, I'm not quite ready actually to do the group. Hang on, I just got to do a few bits and pieces here. So the first, oh, uh, the first one, where are we? Chris Puller has been around. Oh, I've got to, why is that not doing its thing? Hang on a minute. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I was in a rush to get this show together, and clearly I've uh, cocked up. As why is that still not moving? Hang on, move that there. There we go. Right, so here we go. The uh, the gallery, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a look into the gallery and see what's going on. Here we go. We've got Chris Puller has been uh, here, which is up in... Uh, where's the group page gone? It, it does that. In Colchester. I like Colchester. I've been to Colchester many times, and he's found this little remains of something. I can't remember what he said it was now, but uh, whatever it is, it's there. Um, and I don't think anyone's yet been to Colchester in the group, which is a shame. But there we are. It's a lovely old city. It's very, very um, ancient. Here we go. This is uh, Claire Leach at Alfriston, which is another lovely place. I've made a video in Alfriston, which is very nice. Um, that's the church there, and it's uh, a beautiful old place. There's the, uh, the priest's house nearby, which you can go in and uh, have a look at. Timber frame building, which is rather delightful. I mentioned that I was out filming with Colin Brown the other day. And you may have seen this picture. We were doing some experiments with a drone. I want to try and use a bit of a drone, not all the time, in the future when I can afford to buy one. But meanwhile, Colin Brown has been very kind. He says, I'm going to come out occasionally and take some drone footage of some of the places that I've been so that we can edit them into the, uh, into the pictures, uh, into the videos. So that would be very nice. So there's me by a boathouse. And you can't see it, but that's actually a very big lake. And the drone has just flown in front to get that sort of effect. Elaine Brazier has been out. Now, I don't know where this is, Elaine. Where is this? This is Charles Hawtrey from the Carry On Films fame. 
Uh, and this was where he was living before he sadly uh, drunk himself and, and died. Um, actually, here's a better version of it. Um, Hang on, let's just move that over there a bit. He, he lived there, but I don't know where it was. You didn't say what town it was. You, you, uh, maybe you did, or maybe I just missed it. Anyway, I do apologise for that. But then Elaine also said Richard would know this place, and I actually haven't a blooming clue where this one is either. So, Elaine, where are you talking about? I'd be fascinated to know. I have absolutely no idea. Check it out in the... Bald Explorer group, you'll see these things. Maybe you will know better than me. Here we go. This is a beautiful picture from Judith Oakley. Uh, somewhere in uh, Southern Ireland, I think, in West Cork. I cannot even begin to pronounce the name of that. Gain Barra or some such place, but it does look very picturesque. I would love to get over to Ireland and do some walks over there, but um, they're going to need to raise a bit more cash uh, to do that of course this is the tree that uh, hopefully the lovely julia and i will be filming tomorrow here it is this is an old ancient oak tree which is in broadwater in worthing it's it's it looks very rural in that photograph it's a bit deceptive because actually just off to the right is a dirty great big busy roundabout and then in front where we're standing where the cameraman is standing it's you've got the broad water green and the and, and it's um, where they play cricket and various things. Um, it's a very busy area, but the picture makes it look very rural, rural fied, uh, which is rather good. But uh, yeah, so the lovely Julia and I will be going out there uh, to do a, a report about that, which will be coming up fairly soon. Meanwhile, Paul Hine has been out to Bosham, which is a beautiful place. Did do a walk round with Martin Snow some time ago round Bosham. This is a lovely, iconic picture. When we went, the tide was out. Um, Paul has obviously gone when the tide has been in, and it looks absolutely fantastic. So well done, Paul. Uh, you get the fanfare of the evening. Well, of this part of the evening. No, not that one. There we are. Marvellous. It's all very good, isn't it? It's going well. Let's have a look at the time. We're almost out of time, as I suspected we would be. So let's go back to you guys and see what's coming in. Uh, Kevin Hall says... Um, oh, it's gone now. I don't know what Kevin Hall was saying. The the the, the Sometimes they go so fast. Uh, Kevin Hall says, not too mixed up with... Uh, oh, the other Al, uh, Al, Fre Al Freeton, is it? I can't remember how you pronounce it. Al, Al, Al Siston, is it? Al Siston. The other one. Steve Bilford says Power Direct is about 60 notes. I don't know what Power Direct is. You're obviously talking about something uh, that I didn't see, but there we are in the mind. Um, it's now an hour. We'll never get back, says Andy Ash to Emily. What? B watching my rubbish. Thanks very much. Matthew Holdsworth says my sister lives in Colchester. I'll have to take some pictures next time I'm there. Do. It's a beautiful... I've been up there. That is where... Um, the uh, what's her face? The the um, Boudica or uh, Bodicea, as people sometimes call her. But Boudica, I think, is that now the accepted term. The Iceni uh, group came down and uh, got rid of. Did they come from? I think they they decimated Colchester, didn't they? When the Romans were living there, then they came down to London, and then they did somewhere else. Where was the other one they did? Um, somewhere anyway i can't remember now i read all about it i read a book about uh, boudica uh, fascinating story and interestingly if you dig down deep enough under colchester you'll find i think it was ad 60 if i remember rightly but uh, under colchester there is this um it's about this wide there's charcoal a charcoal uh line which you can if you dig down to get to that you know that that is ad 60 because that's when colchester was uh, burnt to the ground. And same in London, actually. And um, what was the other one? Can anyone tell me what the other one was? Can't remember. No, it wasn't Deal. Um, Le Levi says, time goes quickly when you're enjoying yourself. Well, I hope you have enjoyed yourself. That would be absolutely fantastic. Um, I've never seen any of them. Kevin says, shame he drunk himself into oblivion and nearly burnt down his house and the young man stayed. Oh, yes, that's Charles Hawtrey. Terrible end. It was to, Oh, it was in Deal that, his, that Charles Hawtrey lived. Thank you very much. Tonight's show has been fun and interesting, says Mark Selwood. Yes, I hope you didn't mind the unboxing. I just thought I'd do something a little bit different for a change. Uh, Timothy Wareham says, I'm late. Yes, we're just about to leave. Richard Suggett says, Edinburgh. 
I'm not quite sure what the Edinburgh is about to, but maybe he wants to go to Edinburgh. So there we go. Oh, and before we go, did I put this on? I can't remember if I did or not. Yes, I did. Did you watch the allotments show? Did you watch the allotments show? It was great fun. We said that we would post a picture, and it is there in the Bald Explorer group. We um, This was thanks to Jonathan, Jonathan Belusic who uh, posted, took the pictures. This was us in the allotment at Richard Suggett's allotment. There we are with all the gear. This is the studio that you see here in front of me right now, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is. You can't see it. Um, But uh, if I go to that camera, you can see the table there, which is what I use. And then um, let's go back to the picture here. Where's the picture gone? There it is. That was us. Uh, that was us, and there's another version of it here in the allotment, and there's a few more pictures set up with all the gear recording. Uh, there's me looking very concentrating. Julia is smiling lovely, and Richard Suggett, it looks like he's squatting to do a poo. We've got the camera there, and you can see all the rest of Richard's lovely allotment, and it was fantastic. And what we want to do, ladies and gentlemen, we want to go to some more places. Please, if you've got some suggestions of where we can do our live show... Uh, let us know. There are a few things up the sleeve, some interesting places. I can't tell you what they are until I've had a meeting with the lady in charge, but we've got some ideas that we hope to take the live show with guests like we did at the Regency Townhouse, like we did at the allotment, some more interesting places, definitely on the cards. So um, do keep that in mind. And uh, finally, ladies and gentlemen, if I can find the... uh, the thing i can't always i don't know where it is now what am i looking for here we go finally if you have any contributions to help towards the show to help us put petrol in the car and go to places and do the live shows baldexplorer.com forward slash um support is the place i will get one that says the vogue show to make it a bit easier but that would be very handy um but there we go so ladies and gentlemen come to the end of another time let's see if anybody's uh, got any comments i'm late no i did you did a film in that pub. Did I? I did a film in that pub. I don't remember doing a film in that pub. I really... Where, what pub was that? Oh, it said the Black Horse. What town is it? What town? That's what I want to know. I, I have absolutely no recollection whatsoever. But maybe um, maybe I did. Anyway, when you hear this music, ladies and gentlemen... You know... It is the end of the show. Uh, I'll be back again tomorrow. We've got the lovely Julia in on Wednesday. You could be guesting on this show if you get in touch and you fancy coming down to Worthing for an evening and guesting on the show. Why don't you? Would be fun to have you. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being part of it. It's lovely to see you and I will see you again tomorrow. Tune in for some more fun games and thrills and spills from the Vogue Show Live. Take care, one and all. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Bye, 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 bye.